One of the things I like to do when uh, I'm uh, playing a, a monster game is, uh, or a, a large game, and I think DAC2 uh, is large enough, although the counter density is not that high, it's big, it's a physically a big game and fairly robust in all the different bits and pieces you need to track and take care of and stuff like that. So um, what I like to do is, as I'm doing my AAR, always try and keep the history in mind and understand or try and understand a little bit about what was going on with the whole thing because that's kind of half the point. The other part is, you know, is it going to be epic and fun and an adventure and something that uh, I'll enjoy writing about and making videos about? And I certainly have had that with uh, DAC2. It's been, uh, it's been a really rewarding experience. And as this is the uh, second effort, uh, you know, we did 53, 54 turns uh, just recently. And then this second time round, we started in um, 8th of December and carried through. And so we're in the 50, 40, 50 turn range there as well. It's now 1st of June. Uh, made a tactical error. And uh, that uh, really uh, caused the, the Germans to yet again basically win the game. And because I like to try and play the game as uh, well as possible and I want the experience of the writing and the full satisfaction of the game, uh, I, I'm kind of at that point where you know, I need to make some choices about starting again, doing a mulligan, having a do-over type of thing, or, uh, or really uh, packing it up. Because, uh, you know, if I, I'm so, I really don't feel like starting again. Uh, I don't know that I want to do a full third play. So, uh, not yet anyway. I certainly would play it again, but not, uh, not right away. <laughs> it's, uh, it's been challenging. Uh, the, the, uh, so, the, so the question is, do we, you know, do we start again? And that's not really a big question. You just, either you start again or you don't. But, uh, well, when I say start again, I mean rewind the I mean rewind the game. So I'm thinking that I'd like to rewind the game a turn or two, and take back a move. And uh, not necessarily sure why I'm making the video about that decision, but I think it's important that if you're going to follow, if you're going to invest the time to follow my AAR and battle report and all that sort of stuff in the videos then you should understand what the thinking is behind what we're doing and why we're doing it. And I think there's a lot more game here and a lot of exciting stuff uh, to come. There's really cool, uh, uh, I better write a reach right now. Uh, the reinforcement charts, June, July, August, is a, it's gonna be a pretty fascinating time. It's around the um, period of Operation Battle Axe, I think. Is it Battle Axe or one of the other ones that was a disaster for the... Um, this is the wrong folder. Uh, <coughs> for, the, for the British... Yeah, no, it is Battle Axe. Okay, yeah, so 15th of June. That's so Battle Axe took off and then there's a few other things that happen after that and then LMN and so there's a period there where I think we can really do some cool stuff. And I really want to play that part of the game. I don't want to play this part that I played again or the preceding four months because it really is <clears throat> a lot of waiting for stuff to come on board and, you know, to and froing over uh, Bardia and uh, Solemn. We've done that twice already. So let's, uh, what I'm going to do is rewind at a turn, give the allies the benefit of the doubt that they managed to extricate themselves uh, uh, and, and made that key move they failed to make, which was a reserve roll move uh, to uh, remove their units from the body of solemn little area there, that salient, that line. And that will give them back uh, three, five, eight, 12 units, which will make it a game, uh, given that we've got some fair reinforcements coming along. And uh, I'm going to leave everything else the same. So all the bad rolls for the Greek returns and all the bad rolls for the, you know, because we've got to do rebuilds for the Greek uh, campaign. Uh, all that, we'll keep all that the same. I'm going to ding uh, the uh, 
allies uh, 2SP for transportation. And I'm going to give back, the Germans are going to need to recover one step of a unit and also recover um, some SP uh, for all the different attacks they did and the movement to encircle units and things like that. So that's what we're going to do uh, to kind of reconstitute the game. Uh, the the defensive positions may not be exactly the same, so you, when you when we go from the, the end of May picture to the 1st of June picture, it's going to look very different because uh, I'm just going to choose a point in the sand haha uh, -ha. uh <clears throat> to uh <laughs> that was really lame sorry uh to uh denote where the allies basically would have been and then we'll kind of fudge it from there and, and get a, I don't I don't want to just be a fresh reset for the allies they need to be kind of in transit headed back to city barani or that area and trying to uh, uh hold that line uh and, and protect mercia so so we'll try and keep it as realistic to the extent that we can. Long-winded way of saying that I'm starting, uh, I'm rewinding two turns, and we're going to keep playing from there, and uh, it's my game, and I'll do what I damn well please. All right, I'm going to let you go. I'll talk to you soon.